When I heard this story this morning, I thought, eh, got to, that's got to be missing something. You know, you hear a news story and think, eh, I wonder what the guy's leaving out. So I've uh, read it front to back, folks, and you know, listening to this show, that maybe there's a good chance that I could mispronounce something or get it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've got this one right. There's a mom in Vaughn, and her uh, kids go to St. Stephen Catholic Elementary School. And the problem is that there are trees on city-owned property where the oak trees have acorns dropping on the school property, and her kids have a peanut allergy. Thus, those trees have to be taken down. Does nuts, that, nuts, nuts, nuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Does that make any sense to anybody? I mean, many of you have kids who have peanut allergies. You worried about acorns? I mean, maybe somebody would be bullied and forced to eat an acorn. I, I don't know if that's ever happened. Do we have to really plan for all eventualities? If your kids are entering their teenage years, would you maybe say... Okay, it's going to be a tough world out there. You got to start. You're not five anymore. You're entering your teenage years. You got to suck it up and you've got to uh, figure out how you're going to be able to live in this world now that you've been dealt these cards. We can't have the world revolve around you, you poor little snowflakes, for the rest of your life. So I, I don't know. I, I, the kid is the kid really going to? If your kid is uh, of the mentality where they might be eating acorn shells or acorns, maybe they shouldn't be going to school or to that school. Or maybe you have to educate them a little better. Uh, saving that, I don't even know. A couple of experts have also chimed in and said, "You know what? Uh, if you, even if you touch an acorn, there's no reason to." Be worried. So here are the two scenarios. You'd have to be forced to eat one by the bully. Or that's the only scenario, actually. Teachers and the custodians at the school have been going around and sweeping the acorns up. But do you need the trees to be removed? Elizabeth Goldenberg joins us right now, a lawyer and founder of One Spot Allergy Blog, website dedicated to food allergy and legal issues. And I'm guessing that usually, Elizabeth, you're on the other side of this argument, argument, meaning that we have to have schools that are safe for kids who have these allergies. But what do you make of this? Well, 90% of schools in Ontario, elementary schools, have uh, peanut and nut safety precautions in place. And this school is no different. St. Catholic Elementary School um, it has those precautions in place. I generally do chime in in favor of protecting allergic students because allergic reactions can be life-threatening. We're not talking about delicate little snowflakes that have to be, um, you know, outrageously protected from uh, loss. We're talking about a real risk to them. Having said that, I completely disagree that the acorn trees or the oak trees should be removed. They're not a problem. I mean, they're, it's worst case scenario. You can't, I mean, you'd have to wipe the landscape of uh, oak trees or any tree that would drop a, uh, an acorn. Well, I want to clarify a couple of things. <clears throat> From what I've read in this article, um, the child, the, the woman's child who's, who's petitioning for this is a teen, which would mean he's probably in grade eight at the school. He's not peanut allergic. He's tree nut allergic. And acorns are tree nuts. They're oak nuts. Um, And I believe she's attempting to protect other students. She's the chair of the school's allergy committee, and she is uh, speaking on behalf of other students and claiming that there's a great source of anxiety amongst all students with nut allergies. When you say it looks like there are missing pieces, I would agree with you entirely. There are huge missing pieces of information. Um, You know, I've confirmed that acorns are tree nuts. They're oak nuts. But is there really an allergy to this nut? That's the first question. Well, even the experts don't know that. One is quoted as saying, I'm not sure if you would have a problem if you rubbed up against one. That in a moment, and I want to hear from our listeners and have them chime in on whether or not these trees should be removed. 
The mom says, I'm not a crazy mom. I'm not asking for anything that's not already there, meaning that the school has a sign that says nut-free environment. And as long as there are these acorns, which are coming off of oak trees, which essentially would have a nut inside of them, she's got a problem with that because her kids are allergic to tree nuts. 416-872-1010. Star Talk is star 8255. These trees are on a property owned by the city that's adjacent to the school in question, the St. Stephen Catholic Elementary School, again, in Vaughan. But I think it would be a huge underlying huge accommodation to start removing trees, especially Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth uh, Goldenberg is with us, lawyer and founder of One Spot Allergy Blog, a website dedicated to food uh, allergy and legal issues. It would be a huge um, overstep to uh, remove all these trees. That's the thing. You know, we can say that this is a tree nut, but it's been confirmed that the they have a different type of protein in acorn than in the allergenic tree nuts. That's the first point. So is there actually a student allergic to acorns is the first thing to be determined. If there is an allergy, is it an anaphylactic allergy? Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction. And to determine if it's anaphylactic, they would have a history of a life-threatening reaction, the student, and it would be confirmed with an allergist you know, doing blood testing, skin testing, and probably an oral yeah. food challenge. So you're saying what they're doing right now, people, you should know that they're going away and the city is coming up with a report on this, and they're going to come up with a report uh, without all the information because they should be testing the kids, not necessarily uh, trying to figure out how reasonable it is to be removing trees. Well, you would see a parent presenting this information to the school saying, my child has not only an allergy to acorn, a life-threatening allergy, because of that sort of information coming in all the time about peanuts and nuts, we have 90% of schools taking some safety precautions Well, if they for do, us. if these kids do have an allergy to acorns uh, off of an oak tree, should the trees be removed? Well, no. It, first of all, it's extremely unlikely to find anybody with an allergy to acorn. Um, there's never been a death recorded in the scientific literature from acorn. Uh, There are one or two cases of anaphylaxis, you know, the severe reaction to acorn. They report that one might have been a cross-reaction to another allergen, and the other might have been just an allergic reaction, in fact, to another substance. So there's really, it's sort of an imagined risk. Yep. I I, I agree. Uh, Elizabeth, thank you very much for your time. You're most welcome. Anytime, gentlemen. Elizabeth Goldenberg, lawyer and founder of One Spot Allergy Blog, a website dedicated. 